let's move to question number 38 this is the question pause the video and try to observe the question and solve the question on your own so let's approach this question in this question a drone is given and david is controlling the drone through his jeep the maximum height of the drone it is 100 meter the range up to which the drone can go in the vertical direction it is given as 100 meter and this drone is directly above the david's jeep and he is entering the jungle also the speed of the jeep it is given as 10 meter per second the average speed of the jeep that will be used and as he moves inside the jungle he will observe the various things and various trigonometric angles and trigonometric triangles will be formed and we will solve various questions okay let's check down the first part in this part a tree is given and drone has stopped at one of the location the horizontal distance between the drone and the top of the tree it is given as 5 root 3 meters as shown in the figure the angle of elevation from the top of the tree to the drone it is given as 30 degree angle of elevation when we are looking upward and this angle is with respect to the horizontal line so this angle is the angle of elevation which is 30 degree further it is given david stopped this drone at a vertical distance of 65 meter below its maximum vertical range and what is the maximum vertical range of the drone it is given as 100 meter so david has stopped his drone 65 meter from the top part that is from the 100 part this distance is 65 meter so what will be this distance it will be 100 minus 65 that is 35 meter and in this question we have to find the height of the tree that is this distance we have to find okay are you able to observe a right angle triangle in this question in this right angle triangle we will apply the trigonometric ratio formula and we will find this distance this distance we know as 35 meter this distance we will calculate using the trigonometric ratio we will use the subtraction and we will find this distance which is the height of the tree this approach we will use firstly we will go step by step the steps that we have discussed in the theory part First step we have done that is we have observed a right angle triangle in the given scenario. Let's take this triangle out of the figure and let's give the name to the triangle as triangle ABC just for the simplicity. The next step we will identify the trigonometric angle for this triangle. So here this angle is the trigonometric angle for this triangle and with respect to this angle we will identify the various trigonometric sides. Firstly perpendicular. Perpendicular is a side which is opposite to trigonometric angle. So this side is the perpendicular and base. Base is the side which is between the 90 degree angle and the trigonometric angle. So this side is the base for this triangle. And the base of this triangle we know it is given as 5 root 3 meters. And what is the relation between the perpendicular and base? It is 10 theta. 10 theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. Perpendicular we have to find base it is given as 5 root 3 angle theta it is given at 30 degree and what is the value of 10 30 degree it is 1 upon root 3 you should know the value of 10 30 degree 10 45 degree and 10 60 degree 90 percent of the time these three values will be used so you should memorize them 10 30 degree it is 1 upon root 3 10 45 it is 1 10 60 it is root 3 these three values you must know so on solving we got the perpendicular as 5 meter let's find the height of the tree this total distance we have calculated as 35 meter this is 5 meter so this distance that is the height of the tree will be equal to 30 meters that is the answer of this part got it 30 meter we got the height of the tree let's move to second part of the question in this the drone is flying at a height of 30 root 3 meters at a constant speed in a horizontal direction and it spotted a zebra right below the drone so the zebra is just below the drone and the drone is flying at a height of 30 root 3 meters after that the drone has started moving in the horizontal direction it has started moving in the forward direction after 30 meter the drone has again observed the zebra now the zebra is not under the drone it is at a horizontal distance of 30 meter the angle of depression is formed that is theta angle of depression when we are looking downward note that this angle is with respect to the horizontal line do not do the mistake of taking this angle theta with respect to the vertical line the common mistake done by the student angle of elevation and angle of depression both are with respect to the horizontal line note this this is important so this is angle theta the angle of depression 
and in this part we have to find angle theta that is angle of depression we will go step by step first of all we will identify a right angle triangle are we able to observe this right angle triangle in this scenario let's take this triangle out of the figure and let's give the name to the triangle as triangle abc just for the simplicity the next step we will identify the trigonometric angle for this triangle and this angle angle theta is a trigonometric angle for this triangle next step we will identify the trigonometric side firstly perpendicular perpendicular is a side which is opposite to trigonometric angle angle theta is a trigonometric angle so this side is perpendicular which is given as 30 root 3 meters further the side base base is a side between the 90 degree angle and the trigonometric angle so this side is the base which is given as 30 meters we know the perpendicular we know the base what is the relation between the perpendicular and base it is again tan theta tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base let's put perpendicular as 30 root 3 base as 30 we got tan theta as root 3 so for which angle of tan the value is root 3 it is 60 degree tan 60 degree we know it is root 3 so we got the angle of depression in the second part as 60 degree which is the answer of this part got it we got the angle of depression as 60 degree further let's move to the part 3 in the part 3 a scenario is given after the two minute of starting of the expedition the location of the drone and the location of the jeep is shown in the figure the drone has moved ahead of the jeep that is the drone is moving faster as compared to the jeep do you remember in the starting it is given before entering the jungle the location of the drone is just above the jeep now after two minutes of the expedition that is after entering two minutes into the jungle the drone has moved forward as compared to the jeep it means the velocity or the speed of the drone is higher as compared to the jeep and we have to calculate the speed of the drone in this question basically we can form two scenarios in the first scenario the drone is just above the jeep and the second scenario which is given in the question that is after the two minute of starting the expedition the drone has moved forward the jeep so these are the two scenarios and we have to calculate the speed of the drone okay do not worry about the speed why we are having the speed in the trigonometry speed and distance are related using the formula speed is equal to distance upon time whenever the question framer is asking for the speed there the time will be given like here time is given as two minute time is given we have to calculate the speed only the missing component will be the distance and how we calculate the distance we calculate the distance using the trigonometry so basically the question framework want us to find the distance using the trigonometry and just go one step ahead and find the speed using the formula speed is equal to distance upon time so do not worry about how to find the speed just you have to find the distance using the trigonometry that is the actual question so let's approach this question the height of the drone it is given as 50 root 3 meter as shown in the figure also the angle it is given as 60 degree the angle of elevation it is given as 60 degree here this is a triangle for this triangle this side will be the perpendicular the side opposite to trigonometric angle 50 root 3 meter is the perpendicular and this side is the base for this triangle base is the side between the 90 degree angle and the trigonometric angle so again let's apply tan theta which is perpendicular upon base so tan 60 degree will be equal to 50 root 3 upon base base we will calculate and what is the value of tan 60 degree it is root 3 so we got base of this triangle as 50 meters got it this dimension the horizontal distance between the jeep and the drone we got as 50 meters further in this part it is given after two minutes of starting the expedition it means the jeep and the drone both have traveled for two minutes and in the starting the average speed of the jeep it is given as 10 meter per second we can use the formula distance is equal to speed into time speed we know it is 10 meter per second time we know it is two minute in seconds it will be 120 seconds so the total distance traveled by the jeep it will be 10 into 120 that is 1200 meters so the jeep has basically traveled 1200 meters after starting of the expedition and just now we have calculated the distance the horizontal distance between the jeep and the drone as 50 meters so how much the distance the drone has traveled after starting of the expedition the drone has traveled 1200 plus 50 this is the total distance 
So 1250 meters that drone has traveled. The total distance traveled by the Jeep it is 1200 meters in 2 minutes and the total distance traveled by the drone in 2 minutes it is 1250 meters. We got the distance traveled by the drone and the time of 2 minutes or 120 second is also given in the question. The time taken by the drone to move from the starting to the end point. We have to calculate the speed. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Distance it is 1250. Time it is 120 seconds. On solving we got the speed of the drone as 10.42 meter per second. That is the answer. The speed of the jeep is 10 meter per second. The speed of the drone is 10.42 meter per second. The speed of the drone is higher as compared to the jeep. That's why it has crossed 50 meter extra as compared to the jeep. Got it? That is the answer of this part. Let's move to the next part. In the next part, the drone has captured a tiger and the angle it is given as 30 degree. After 3 seconds, the tiger has moved forward. Now the angle has been changed to 45 degree. The height of the drone it is given in the figure as 54 root 3 meter. And the duration between the two cases it is given as 3 seconds. And we have to find the average speed of the tiger. This question is having a small mistake. The mistake is related to the angle of depression. In the question it is given the angle of depression are 30 degree and 45 degree. But note that as we have also discussed in the theory part, angle of depression and angle of elevation are with respect to the horizontal line. But here in the figure, the angle of depression 30 degree and 45 degree are given with respect to the vertical line. So here these two angles are not the angle of depression. These angles will be the angle of depression as the angle of depression are always with respect to the horizontal line. Got it? We will proceed with the question ignoring the content angle of depression that is given in the question. We will proceed as per the given figure. In the given figure angle 30 degree and angle 45 degree are given. So we will take these angles and we will proceed with the answer. Got it? The tiger has moved from this location to this location. Two angles are given 30 degree and 45 degree. Height of the drone is given. We have to find the average speed of the tiger. Basically, we have to find the distance between the two cases of the tiger. That is the tiger at the first location and the tiger at the second location. The distance between these two scenarios of the tiger. Time it is given, distance we have to calculate. We can apply the formula speed is equal to distance upon time to find the final answer that is the speed of the tiger. So basically in this question using trigonometry we have to find the distance between the two locations of the tiger. Okay, this is the actual question. Are you able to observe the two triangles in the figure? For simplicity, let's give the name to the vertex of these triangles as A, B, C and D. This triangle is A, B, C and this triangle is A, B, D. Got it? The two triangles are formed. Just for simplicity, we have given the name to the vertex. The strategy that we will use to solve this question is, firstly, we will take this big triangle and we will calculate this complete distance. Then we will take this small triangle and we will calculate this distance. And further we will use the subtraction to find our answer that is the distance between the two scenarios of the tiger. This approach we will use. Firstly let's take this triangle, the big triangle with a trigonometric angle as 45 degree. For this triangle this side will be the perpendicular as this side is opposite to our trigonometric angle and this side will be the base. Base is the side between the 90 degree angle and the trigonometric angle. So again base and perpendicular are coming into the picture. Let's use tan theta. Tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. Perpendicular we have to find. Base it is given as 54 root 3. Angle theta it is 45 degree. And what is the value of tan 45 degree? It is 1. Okay tan 45 degree it is 1. So on solving we got the perpendicular as 54 root 3 meters. This distance we got as 54 root 3 meters. One part we have done. Let's move to the second triangle. Again for this triangle we will find the trigonometric side. This side is a perpendicular as it is opposite to our trigonometric angle. This side is a base as it is between the 90 degree angle and the trigonometric angle. Again we will use tan theta as perpendicular and base are coming into the picture. Tan 30 degree will be equal to perpendicular upon base. Perpendicular we have to find. Base it is given as 54 root 3 meters. Further, what is the value of tan 30 degree? It is 
वन अपॉन रूट थ्री दिस यू मस्ट नो ऑन सॉल्विंग वी गॉट द परपेंडिकुलर फॉर दिस ट्रैंगल एज फिफ्टी फोर मीटर गॉट इट वी गॉट दिस डिस्टेंस एज फिफ्टी फोर मीटर दिस कंप्लीट डिस्टेंस इट इज फिफ्टी फोर रूट थ्री दिस डिस्टेंस इट इज फिफ्टी फोर मीटर सो वॉट विल बी द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू लोकेशन ऑफ द टाइगर इट विल बी फिफ्टी फोर रूट थ्री माइनस फिफ्टी फोर लेट्स पुट रूट थ्री एस वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री लेट सॉल्व इट वी गॉट द डिस्टेंस एज थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर टू मीटर्स वी गॉट द डिस्टेंस लेट्स फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ द टाइगर दैट द क्वेश्चन फ्रेमर इज आस्किंग इन द क्वेश्चन स्पीड इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम डिस्टेंस वी हैव जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड एज थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर टू मीटर्स एंड टाइम इट इज गिवन एज थ्री सेकेंड ऑन सॉल्विंग वी गॉट द स्पीड एज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड दैट इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन Got it. We have done all the parts, so we have done with this question.